This week I want to talk to you about that most special place in your house, or at least for cyclists, that place that's known as the pain cave. We're talking about that spot in the house where you grind out the miles on a stationary bike, run on a treadmill, uh, do weights, stretch, all those sorts of things that are, are not necessarily fun to do in the winter, but uh, most of us consider uh, necessary, especially for endurance sports. So this month I challenged our ambassadors to show us their pain cave. And to be fair to the process, I thought I'd show you or give you a little insight into my own little spot of happiness. Okay, this is my corner. Uh, it's right next to my office. It's built right into it. And uh, it's always staring me in the face, reminding me that uh, I need to get in the miles one way or another. So the elements of my pain cave, let me walk you through it. First of all, I've got my computer. When I'm watching TV, movies, um, I find it hard to hear properly over the sound of the trainer because it is so old. So I like to have my headphones ready to go. And then uh, down below, I've got a, a fan if I'm getting too hot. The bike's on a stationary trainer. Funny story behind that tra trainer, I got it, I think, uh, in 1999. So uh, if you're ever wondering uh, when trainers were first invented, uh, they definitely go back that far. I've got a mat. This is a, a new addition. Um, I've got really bad knees, really sore feet, and uh, this was a really important addition, uh, especially because we've got hard floors. So this allows me to, to stretch um, and do any core work uh, after I'm done, done on the bike. Uh, in the last video I showed you compacts, so I've got a couple of different units that I have uh, readily available for after. Uh, Next to my bike, I've got um, a little stool that I don't really use for anything else. And usually on that stool, I'll put um, you know, my drink bottles, whatever, whatever I'm using, whether it be heat or uh, perpetuum. So I'll have those mixed and ready to go right beside the bike. Um, if I'm really feeling bored, I'll have my phone and maybe a couple other things to keep me distracted. In addition to using Compex uh, for recovery, there's some other uh, tools that I like to bring along or have with me on the road and around the house. Um, the first one that I ever started out with was a foam roller. Uh, this one's great uh, because it's hollow, uh, you can store things in it. Um, actually when I went to Italy for the Marathon World Championships for mountain bike a couple of years ago, uh, I actually stored a bottle of wine on the way home and protected it. So this is great for uh, rolling out your legs. Smaller option is a stick. So great when you're watching TV just for massaging your legs. Oh, actually, that feels pretty good. We've got an ab roller. Uh, don't use this at all. <laughs> now, I want to hear from you what makes your pain cave. So com comment below, whether it be on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. And uh, tell me what makes your pain cave special, and we'll we'll collect all those points. We'll we'll maybe put together a top ten list that we can uh, post for the group. Okay, well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our videos. We're really trying to to grow this series and. Uh, to get an, a better understanding of what kind of videos you want to see. So make sure to subscribe, um, like our Facebook page, that's another good way to stay in touch. And uh, as always, have a good weekend, and uh, I'll see you next Friday. Later.